what is inclusion dependency and lossless joint decomposition in database management system. What is the exact role of inclusive dependency and what does lossless joint decomposition actually means in database management system. Hello everyone, I am Sukanya from GoEduHub Technologies and today we are going to discuss about inclusion dependency and lossless joint decomposition in database management system. The multi-value dependency and joint dependency can be used to guide database design although they are both are less common than functional dependency. Inclusive dependencies are quite common in database system. They are typically show little influence on the designing of database. The inclusion dependency is a statement in which some columns of a relation are contained in other columns. The example of inclusion dependency is a foreign key. In one relation, the referring relation is contained in the primary key columns of the referenced relation. Suppose we have two relations R and S which was obtained by translating two entity sets such that every R entity is also an S entity which means they have common entity sets. Inclusion dependency would be happen if projecting R is on key attribute yields a relation that is contained in the relation obtained by projecting S in its key attribute. In practice, most common inclusion dependencies are key based that involves only keys for example a foreign key or a primary key. Now firstly we should know that decomposition, what do we mean by decomposition, then only we can describe about a lossless joint decomposition or a lossy decomposition. Now decomposition is a relation is done when relation in relation model is not an appropriate normal form then decomposition is done. Relation R is decomposed into two or more relation if decomposition is lossless joint as well as dependency preserving. Decomposition is of two types. The first is lossless joint decomposition and the second is lossy joint decomposition. Firstly, lossless joint decomposition. Consider there is a relation R which is decomposed into sub relation R1, R2 and same to Rn. This decomposition is called lossless joint decomposition because when the join of the sub relation result in the same relation R which are decomposed. For lossless joint decomposition, we have R1, R2 and R3 relation sets which are joined until Rn and then R is actually the natural join operator. This is actually natural join operator which we have started in join tutorial. Now if we consider this R relation of A, B, C columns, then we can see here that several values are stored in this particular R table. Now consider the relation decomposed into R1 relation having A and B, R2 is having B and C and R is individually having A, B, C which we have above seen. Now if R1 is having this kind of relation and similarly R2 is having this, now let us check that whether this decomposition is lossless or not. So when natural join is done between R1 and R2, does it gives R? Yes it does. It gives the complete following table. When we perform the natural join of sub relations R1 and R2, we get the actual relation R. Hence we can conclude that the above decomposition is lossless joint decomposition. So in lossless joint decomposition when we decompose a particular relation, the main relation into sub relations and then if we apply natural join between the dis distributed sub relations and we get the original relation that that is known as lossless joint decomposition. That means the decomposition which is made and then if join is applied then there is no loss in that particular relation then that is known as a lossless join. Now there are several points to be noted. Lossless joint decomposition is also known as non-additive joint decomposition. Why? This is because the resultant relation after joining the sub relation is same as compared to the decomposed relation. There is no changes. We have seen R1 and R2 when done natural join this statement. Then we can see that it completely gets us the original table, the original relation R. Next is lossy joint decomposition. Lossy as the name suggests there would have be a loss of several relation entities. Now similarly if we consider an uh, example a table student where the attributes are roll number okay and uh, s name and department in the particular student table. Now if this relation is decomposed into two relation how can we do that name and the department and similarly name and the roll number. So the number and the name table is roll number and the student parimal okay we are having two roll numbers and the name is same. Similarly for department, Parimal is in computer department also and in electrical department also. In lossy decomposition, tuples are generated when natural join is applied, an extra tuple. 
so here you can see that an extra tuple is designed so when we perform the natural join using the join operator in lossy decomposition here we can see that an extra tuple is made so this is not an actual table in the original student table there are only two rows only two records only two set of records but here there are four so extra tuple is generated which is redundant so what to do this is a lossy decomposition because extra tuple is generated when natural join is applied between the relations r1 and r2 between the table name and number and department and number so when an extra tuple is generated then it is sure that the above decomposition is bad decomposition and it is a lossy decomposition so which is to be preferred which type of decomposition only lossless decomposition is preferred which returns as the original relation when natural join is applied between the sub relation so in this video we have studied about what is inclusion how what is decomposition is made what is lossless join decomposition how it is done and why it is made a good lossless join decomposition because it returns as the original relation when natural join is applied to the sub relation and when natural join is applied in lossy decomposition it generates as the extra tuple this extra tuple is generated so it is a bad decomposition for more sql theory and tutorial we will look into other videos thank you